So hey y'all, I'm back with another video. Um, in this video, I'm just gonna give y'all a little walk through how I make and press the bonnets because it's a process. And I just wanna let, let y'all in so y'all can see exactly what all goes into the Susie Coils Care Bonnet. Because this ain't no just your average, I ordered the bonnet and bam, I'm gonna sell it. Nah, sis put in some work. So I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all the process and show this and um, I'm gonna walk y'all through how I um, prepare to ship them. And I'm gonna actually give y'all a little tip and pointer on what I use to ship off my orders. Cause it's the same. I don't know if y'all know about it, but y'all gonna know about it after this. But um, pretty much I'm about to go to the store so that I can get the other things that I need to do the bonnet today. Um, I would not have to go to the store had I been pressing in Chicago like I usually do. But since your girl moved, I don't have my mom and all her pressing equipment. So I got to set up shop here in good old Milwaukee. So this is going to be a whole uh, task in itself because the press machine that I have, I've never used this press machine before. Um... Yeah, so we gonna see how this goes. So I'm, All right, so I'm back from the store. I have gotten the things that I needed. I needed to get some heat resistant tape. So I got that because you have to tape the paper down to the item that you're gonna press, boop. But right now I'm just sitting here um, cutting out these things for me to press onto um and if y'all are going to get into pressing and things like that some of the best paper to get is crafting besties is very radiant on your items um that's a little pub for y'all so mm -hmm, get into it so i'm pretty much just sitting here because my mom, she um, has the sublimation printer, press machine. She has a pretty much a pressing company. Um, she does it with her friend, Monica. My mom's name is Sasha. She does it with her friend, Monica. And their brand is um, MNT Craft, meant to craft. Um, but she printed out everything that I would need since I no longer can do it at home with her. So I have to sit here and uh, she printed them up. All of that good stuff for me. I just got to cut them out. If you're into one of the press things on your own and you don't have a sublimation printer and you want some prints, you can hit her up at MNT, the number two, Craft on Facebook and Instagram. I will drop their information um, in the description. So hit her up. She can print them out, mail it to you. You can press your own stuff or she can press it for you. It's up to you. Oh, uh, another shameless plug. She pressed that pillow as well. She goes crazy on a press machine. But yeah, so I just have to cut um, these out into circles and I am going to be doing that now. This bonnet pressing thing will take me multiple days. Um, the first few times when I launched the bonnets and when they got back in stock, I did all of the bonnets in one sitting because I had to go over to her house and press them and I didn't want to be going back and forth. But since I uh, have the, all of the equipment at my own home, I can press it myself at a period lot of a lot of time. I can press them however many I want. But I have to get out these pre-orders because y'all have been waiting for a good minute because I had the bonnets come from overseas playing and then I have to go ahead and press and put the logo and stuff on there. I don't just order these from a company and they, they come already pressed. I actually do footwork with making these. Um, so I had to wait for them to come, which took a long time because of coronavirus and now they're finally here and I can finally stop being anxious and finally get y'all y'all product. 
Thank y'all for being patient. Thank y'all for not thinking I was scamming y'all. You know your girl would never do that to you. Thanks for rocking with me. But yeah, but I'm going to do this in stages. I think today I'm just going to pretty much cut and snip uh, for however many bodies that I need for the pre-order and the people who have ordered since I said they were back. And um, I don't know if I'm going to press any today because it, it's hot. Give you a headache. You got to make sure you eat all that stuff. I'll probably do some early in the day and press later in the day and then do some more tomorrow. And then... Tuesday, I told everybody that they're going to come out Wednesday. They're definitely be getting mailed off by Wednesday. But if I have them pressed and early beforehand, they'll probably go out on Tuesday. Whatever. I also, since for the people who have pre-ordered and they have been waiting, I have a special treat for y'all. I'm not going to tell y'all what the treat is on the video because it's a surprise. And only those who have had pre-ordered get this surprise. And I hope y'all love it. So yeah. So now I'm just going to go ahead and snip and cut these. And let y'all see how it works. Ah, good big time now. Usually when I do this when I was doing it at home with my mother she would print and cut these out and I would just be standing over there pressing but now homegirl gets to do it all by herself ma where you at huh <laughs> it's cool I get it real bosses make it happen and y'all love these bonnets, so I'm going to make sure I get them out to y'all and get them out to y'all well and efficiently as I can. And for those of you who are wondering, this has nothing to do with this video, but for those of you who are wondering when I'm going to show you my apartment, I will show y'all once it's finished I'm, the room I'm in right now is our office I have to share it with Jesse so it, at first I thought it was going to be my nice little lab studio all of that good stuff but since I have to share the space I have to be courteous and I have to make sure he has his own little corner and <laughs> and we share this space so it, it it's not just all going to be for me so it's not going to be super glammed out how I thought it would be when I had envisioned it. That'll come later once we you know we get more space, get an actual crib crib and not an apartment. But um yeah, I'll show y'all the house and everything once we get it all together. We have most of the furniture in the living room. We have all the furniture in the living room, actually. But we got the living room together. We just need to, you know, get the little trinkets and the decorations and stuff. They go on a while. Uh, the kitchen, we do not have a kitchen table yet, so no, and we no, don't have the wall decor for the kitchen. Um, I did buy me another office chair because this one I'm in, I don't like. Uh, Jesse got him one, but he told me some, he liked mine, the one I got today. Uh, no, boo boo. You bought your chair when you bought your chair, so you can sit in yours, not in mine. And, um, yeah, so pretty much the bedroom. He just got to finish putting up his clothes. And I do want to get some, like, wall decorations and stuff for in there, too. But I don't know exactly what I get. So, once I get it together, I'll show y'all. But as of right now, y'all will just see, like, little stuff like this. Like, barely my background as I'm working. Y'all cool with that, right? Because y'all know I don't want to have do nothing. You know how I get down. It got to be done and done well at all times. And I did figure since, like, once I get a whole bunch coming in to a point where I cannot physically press all of them myself, then I'll probably possibly find, like, a pressing company or something. But for now, sis can do it. And I will. And I have no problem with doing it at all. I'm just literally blessed thankful and grateful that I have people that support my brand and people that actually love my products and I'm grateful and blessed that my products y'all 
y'all are receiving them how I intend for them to be received and even better. So that just right there warms my heart. And it's like, I don't even know how to express it. It just really, really, truly warms my heart that y'all really like these products. Like, I be really sitting here all day thinking about this stuff, thinking of ways to make the best product, thinking of ways to make it the best efficient, but still be of quality. Thinking of more innovative ways to um, just make the process of taking care of your hair easy or more worthwhile. Like everybody has gray hair, everybody has beautiful hair, but if you don't know how to treat it, you don't have to take care of it, it can come off as like it'll make you feel like your hair ain't 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 the ish. And let me tell you, it is. You just gotta know what to do with it. You gotta know how to take care of it. You gotta know how to make it make it be what it can truly be. Like what a plant. You gotta water it, you gotta take care of it, you gotta nurture it. So if you're not nurturing your hair, of course it's not gonna be the best it can be. Just like with a child. When you grow up in an environment that's not the most nurturing, sometimes uh, people don't come out the best that they can be. And that's how it is with your hair. You just gotta feed it the right things, take care of it the right way, nurture it, all of that goodness gracious and 100% guarantee you'll love your hair. You'll come to the realization that, oh, wow, my hair is awesome. Oh, wow, I love this about myself. Oh, wow. You just got to take, sometimes it takes extra steps, but, hey, you got to do what you got to do to make sure things are how they need to be. Do y'all hear me? All right. Since this was my first time using this press, I pressed the one off the camera uh -huh, just to make sure it came out good. And bam, radiante. Look at this radiance. That color is popping off of there. Do you feel me? Do you see me? All right, next. I have already taped it to here. You need your parchment paper to uh, prevent blowout. And what I'm going to do is, since my press is a little... This press is smaller than the other one. I have to put it on there like this way. This way. And then I hit enter and I put the press. And it goes for a full minute. So while that one, I have two of these with pillows. So while that one's going for a minute, I'm gonna undo this one, set it to the side and get ready to uh, prep it so I can do the band. I'm going to press um, these on here today, and then tomorrow I'll press the bands. That way, I'm not overworking myself. Because you still, even though you want to work hard, you don't want to overwork yourself. So I will make sure I get all of the ones that are pre-ordered, the front press. And then tomorrow, all the bands. And then Tuesday, I'll package them. This press hot though. I do want to let y'all know that it's at 400 degrees and I'm sitting right here in front of it. Woo child. successfully pressed all of the bonnets that I need um, for the pre-orders and everything like that. So tomorrow I'll go ahead and I'll press um, on the bands. I'm just doing this to get my, you see how this got damaged? <laughs> 
Um, I'm gonna go ahead and call it a caputo on pressing these because this took a while. It actually took a lot less than it used to take me before. I'm guess I'm guessing because I have two pressing pillows now, and uh, I had everything pre-cut and everything like that. It was faster for, for me to do, and I was able to do it more efficiently. I like that. I feel like I've been sitting here for maybe two and a half hours. Usually I'll be here for four to eight hours, like no joke. But yeah, so I'm gonna just, you know, give myself a break, give my time to, the more, like if you try to do too much at one time, you begin to come frustrated, you start rushing, then that's when you have the little hiccups and you be messing stuff up. Ain't nobody got time to be messing up no bonnets. They take too long to come and it take too much work to, to put it together. So. Everything got to be done in a cool, calm, and collective fashion. So, yeah. I'll see y'all tomorrow when it's time to do the band. So, it's the next day at about, like, 6.15. I just got off of work. And, um, I'm, I'm on to the next part of this body process. So, I have to have all of these ready, pre-cut. Pre-cut gotta have your um tape pre-cut as well because the other tape that um i usually use is skinnier and it'd be on the tape dispenser i don't have the skinny tape or tape dispenser so i have to cut this tape in half so that i'm not wasting it uh -huh. and um cut it out cut it out into little short bits and pieces and then you just you know tape this onto here and you press it so now i have to go through and do all of that for this batch first batch that has to go out i also have to press a couple of more of these because i have gotten some orders since yesterday and i want to make sure those go out with this batch because they ordered already so yeah so just watch me work I pressed this first batch of bonnets. Now I just got to uh, roll them up. So when I pack them, that all will be done. So I'm going to just do that right now. So that's not a part of the packing process. I'm about to uh, package the orders that I can package with the little treat that's going inside right now. Because um, the other ones, they still have to set. So I can't package them. So I'm going to package as many of these pre-order bonnets that I can. Uh, before tomorrow I'm gonna do the other half tomorrow and they're going out tomorrow all of these bonnets have to go out all of them this is not fabrication all of those and then these on top of here gotta go out too so sis is getting ready to pack I ain't pull out all my packaging but that I get my shipping labels printed up And these is what's going out today. I'm not going to bore y'all with me cutting and sticking these labels on these little packages. So, this is how I'm going to end this vlog. I hope y'all enjoyed watching the bonnet pressing process and just seeing how my days be going um, regularly. What I be doing and how I be getting to it. <laughs> But um, 
If y'all haven't already, please subscribe, like this video, and share it in. Order your bonnet. They're available at suzyquillscare.com. You won't find this bonnet nowhere else. And now I'm finally ready to go to the post office. See y'all next video.